Welcome to the Memento M. Cristo channel. Today, we are pleased to present the miraculous chaplet of St. Edwidge's, accompanied by Psalm 70. This video presents the miraculous chaplet of St. Edwidge's, a Marian prayer well known and revered by believers around the world. Accompanied by Psalm 70, this prayer is a powerful way to praise and invoke divine protection. The video invites viewers to participate in this prayer, seeking comfort, strength, and hope amid life's challenges. Together, we raise our voices to the Lord, giving thanks for life and asking for the intercession of St. Edwidge's. Miraculous Chaplet of St. Edwidge's with Psalm 70 How to Pray the Chaplet of Santa Edwidge's If possible, look for a quiet place, with an image of Santa Edwidge's. Light a candle, symbol of faith and have a rosary. On the crucifix, sign of the cross and creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into the mansion of the dead. He rose on the third day, ascended to heaven, is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from whence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Catholic Church, in the communion of saints, in the remission of sins in the resurrection of the flesh, in eternal life. Amen. On the first large bead, Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive to those who have offended us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. On the first three small beads, Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. On the second large bead, glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and forever. Amen. First Mystery. In the first mystery we contemplate the childhood of St. Edwidge's, the Christian formation she received and which blossomed in her detachment and concrete help to the poor and indebted. On the big account. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, to those who have offended us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. On all small accounts. O Santa Edwidge's, protector of the poor and indebted, help me in this difficult time. Ask God to solve my financial problems and save my soul, Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and forever. Amen. Second Mystery In the second mystery we contemplate the marriage of St. Edwidge's and how she embraced the vocation of wife and mother, taking care of the religious formation of her husband and children. We ask for the grace to live our vocation well and to care for those entrusted to us by God. Third Mystery in the third mystery we contemplate the widowhood of St. Edwidge's and her charity towards widows, whom she sent to convents in difficult times and sent children to schools, where they learned a profession. 
We ask for all widows and widowers, so that St. Edwidge's will help them, that they are not abandoned and that they are able to continue firm and strong in faith, doing God's will. Fourth Mystery In the fourth mystery we contemplate the love and detachment of St. Edwidge's, who entered the monastery and used her fortune to help the poor, prisoners and debtors, giving them a new start in life. And we ask for the grace of release from all our debts. Fifth Mystery In the fifth mystery we contemplate the life and death of St. Edwidge's. We remember his testimony of faith, prayer, sacrifices, renunciation of selfishness and attention to the poor and his holy death. We also ask for the grace of a holy life and death. Save the Queen. Mother of Mercy. Life, sweetness, our hope, save. To you we cry. The banished children of Eve. To you we sigh, groaning and crying. In this valley of tears. Because, our lawyer. Those your merciful eyes. To us return. And after this banishment. Show us Jesus, blessed fruit. From your womb. O clement, O pious. O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Prayer to St. Edwidge's O St. Edwidge's, you who on earth were the support of the poor, the help of the underprivileged and the help of the indebted, and now in heaven you enjoy the eternal reward of charity. That you practiced in life, I beg you to be my lawyer, so that I may obtain from God the help that I urgently need make the request. Also reach me the supreme grace of eternal salvation. St. Edwidge's, pray for us. Make haste, O God, to deliver me, Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek my soul, turn back and confuse those who wish me harm. Let those who say, Ah! Oh! May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you, and let them that love thy salvation continually say, Great be God. I, however, am afflicted and needy, make haste for me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer, Lord, do not hold back. Amen. Psalm 70 We hope this video has been a blessing for you and that you feel the presence of God in your life. Don't forget to subscribe to the Memento M. Cristo channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new content. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and share with your friends. Together, let's continue to seek God's peace and presence in our lives. Thanks for watching and see you next time.